All right, to all you unfortunate Trump supporters who believe everything you hear is a conspiracy in fake news, and that you are uh, at a loss as to what to believe, so you believe your leader, your fearless leader, Trump, anything he says goes. Is that any way to think? That isn't the way I think. Oh, <laughs> believe you me, you people are so susceptible to the slightest suggestion. But now we have a real problem. We have a real problem because of you. And because you're dubious, at best, about the uh, vaccine, or vaccines as the case may be, because we have more than one. We have two right now. We'll probably have three eventually. And one requires a I'm a smoker, so I have to spit once in a while. Anyway, um, the, the first vaccine requires this unusual refrigeration, which goes down to, what, 100 degrees below zero? <laughs> now, most people don't have refrigeration units that go down to 100 degrees below zero, let's face it. Only hospitals and the scientific institutes have such equipment. Now, if, if the pharmaceutical companies were really on the ball, then they could devise a vaccine that was uh, distributed via nasal spray. But, oh, that's too hard. And <laughs> that is way, way too hard for them because all their vaccines require refrigeration. And if they could invent a vaccine that required no refrigeration, then they would have something. Then they would have something that would be available to everyone everywhere. But oh no, no, no. Uh, their vaccines require refrigeration. Now, and I don't know the answer to this. Did the polio vaccine require refrigeration? Polio, anybody remember what that is? Well, I do, because I was a boy when I had to get vaccinated in school. And we all marched up to the teacher's, uh, you know, not the teacher's room, but the, uh, the nurse's office, and we stood in line, and every single one of us, except those kids who had a note from their parents, got a goddamn vaccine for polio. Polio! Now, for those of you who do not know what polio is or what it did to people, well, for one thing, it, it crippled and paralyzed Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So, and it killed many, many people. And it shrank the limbs of many more. Many, many more. It was a horrendous, horrendous disease. And were it not for Jonas Salk, who invented the vaccine, were it not for Louis Saban, who had invented the other vaccine, we would have been decimated by this fucking virus. And now, you people, you stand there and you say, Well, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I better not take it. It might be bad for me. You are fucking idiots. You are fucking hillbilly fucking idiots. I mean, I don't even hate to say it. It is just the fucking truth. What do you watch? What do you watch besides fuck news and listen to fuck news and R Rush Limbaugh? Fuck news and Rush Limbaugh. God, Rush Limbaugh, so what if he got the Presidential Medal of Honor? Fuck, he's in that fucking blowhard asshole. Blowhard asshole, just like me. Only, he's telling you lies. And I'm telling you what I think is the truth. Because I am a student of philosophy, I cannot divert myself from the truth. It is the fucking law. The schoolman law. You follow the truth. And you deny falsity, and you hunt down falsity, and you expose it. Is any attorney 
should do and as any judge ought to do you expose falsity and you lift up the truth and if you do not especially you judges and especially you judges in the Supreme Court Roberts, Alito, Kavanaugh this new lady I even forgot her name, fuck I don't even remember her name and uh... Gorsuch and uh... oh 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 and uh... 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 I'm forgetting all the people on the left hand side uh... Sotomayor Kagan uh... who's left? <laughs> I don't even know Kennedy's dead uh, Stevens? I don't know, is he still there? I have no idea it's amazing anything ever gets uh, thrown towards the left hand side, so to speak. Oh, Roberts, least of all, the Chief Justice, who, I remind you, had voted to the left. Of course, he voted to the left. And uh, he decided that, uh, well, for whatever reasons he decided, he decided to, you know, hang with the left. and. Obamacare, the Affordable Health Act, remained in place. <laughs> and thank God it did. Because if it hadn't, we'd be even worse shape now than here we are. And we are in terrible, terrible, terrible shape. Because, simply put, we do not have a national health care policy. And if we did, they could do wonders with computers and digitized information. But we do not. We are federalized, diversified, 50 different systems going on. Every single fucking state has 50 different fucking systems. For health care. For education. For everything. Because we are a federalized system, it is built into the Constitution. And... You know, uh, uh, as a fundamentalist, and I'm not, um, I would almost tend to agree with even uh, the the recently departed uh, Scalia that we ought to return to fundamentalist principles uh, in terms of the uh, Constitution. He he was a fundamentalist. That is, he thought the Constitution was erected and devised in stone. <laughs> well, I got news for Scalia. It is an organic set of ideas. It is not some fucking mineral. It is an organic set of ideas, as it was intended, and which means it can grow and learn. And indeed it has over what, 200, 50, 300 years. And in the Northwest Farmers Party of which I am the founder and sole member, the first plank on the constant, uh, no, party plank, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves, is a second constitutional convention. And the second plank is the reaffirmation of the First Amendment. And the third claim, well, we skip over the Second Amendment. We'll come back to that later. Third blank, uh, I forget, I'd have to look at my notes. But, uh, <laughs> now, I'm not a rabble rouser. I'm not a goddamn Trumpian uh, autocrat or, you know, whatever you call those types these days. I guess he was. He did turn out there. He tried to be an autocrat until. You know, <laughs> what, uh, January 19th? <laughs> uh, Mr. Trump, you got to leave now. It's time to leave now. Pack up your ambient and get the fuck out.